we are going to solve problem 3.23 from fundamentals of electric circuits by alexander and sadikus fifth edition the question is to find v not using nodal analysis the circuit is given here this is our circuit and here we mark this as v1 this as v2 and this as v3 and this as v4 okay so this is node 1 2 this is 3 this is 4 and also we should mark the reference node this is our reference node okay so which is at zero potential and also we are marking the current direction so let's take this as i1 current i2 this is i3 and this is i4 and here one 3 amps current is already given its direction and here we have the super node so what is a super node if any voltage source is not connected with the reference node for this nodal analysis problems then it can be taken as a super node so here this v3 and v4 they make super node okay so now let's get started case for the second node so here it is i1 which is incoming and the other two currents are leaving so i2 plus i3 so this i1 can be now we are going to apply ohms law right so this is our current equation so now we are going to apply ohms law for this current equation so it is i1 is v1 minus v2 divided by that one ohm that means it is the same that is equal to i2 is what v2 divided by the two ohm resistance plus what is i3 i3 is v2 minus v3 divided by that four ohm resistance now we know that this v1 is nothing but this 30 volts right v1 is equal to 30 volts so we can substitute in this equation so that it is 30 minus v2 that is equal to taking common denominator here as 4 we get this as 2v2 plus v2 minus v3 then you can do the cross multiplication here okay so you will get we'll get this as 120 minus 4v2 that is equal to 3v2 minus v3 so for this we can write 120 is equal to 3v2 plus 4v2 minus v3 or i can write this as 7v2 minus v3 that is equal to 120 so this is our first equation so now we can apply kcl to super node so what are the super node what is the super node here this is 3 and 4 together form super node okay so for that node i am going to apply this so what are the currents incoming this i3 is incoming and this 3 amps is incoming and this i4 is leaving okay so incoming current that is i3 plus 3 that is equal to i4 and now we have to apply ohms law here right so apply ohms law so what is i3 current i3 current is v2 minus v3 divided by 4 v2 minus v3 divided by 4 and plus 3 that is equal to i4 what is i4 i4 is v4 minus 0 by 16 that is v4 by 16 then we can take the common denominator here we can take the common denominator on the left hand side it is 4 so v2 minus v3 plus 12 that is equal to v4 by 16 so if you put this we have we get this as 4 so when you cross multiply this 4 with this side we get this as Four times this V two minus V three plus twelve that is equal to V four. So it is four V two minus four V three plus forty eight minus V four that is equal to zero. Or we can 
write this as 4v2 minus 4v3 minus v4 that is equal to minus 48. This is our second equation. For the super node we have to apply KVL. v3 minus v4 is equal to 2v0. So it is v3 minus v4 minus 2v0 that is equal to 0. This is our third equation. And now we should know that this v2 and v0 are one and the same. So this can be taken as your fifth equation. Now substitute this fifth equation in second equation. So what is your second equation in this? 4 into v0 minus 4v3 minus v4 that is equal to minus 48. This is modified form of the second equation. What is our third equation? Minus 2v0 plus v3 minus v4 that is equal to 0. This is our third equation. Now we can solve this. So it is changing the sign here. This is plus, this is minus, this is plus. Okay. So these two get cancelled. 6v0 minus 5v3 that is equal to minus 48. So let this be equation number 5. Now look at this first equation. The first equation can be modified as 7v0 minus v3 that is equal to 120. This modified form of first. We take this fifth equation 6v0 minus 5v3 that is equal to minus 48. This is our sixth equation. So now I am going to multiply this first equation modified form of first equation with the 5 so that I get this as 35v0 minus 5v3 that is equal to 600. Okay, let me take this as seventh equation. So I am going to subtract the seventh equation from the sixth equation. So we change the sign minus plus minus. Okay, so these two get cancelled. So what do we get? This minus minus 29 we know that is equal to minus this is plus it is minus 648 minus 648 so v naught this minus minus get cancelled so v naught is equal to 648 divided by 29 so the answer is v naught is equal to 22.34 34 volts thank you